hello 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 my little arrows it's been a while since we've caught up haven't had energy in a while but spirit had asked me to come on today as the heart chakra rolls forward new beginnings start and your heart seems to be lit up so sometimes in life we learn valuable lessons too late and our self-worth is not based on how someone else feels about us so let's clear the energy Come on, Divine. Come on. Come on in. This is a general reading in regards to moving towards February, manifesting our dreams in abundance, you know, using crystals, using water, using all the Earth's elements to really find purpose. Six of Pentacles in reverse, right? Reciprocity at the bottom of the deck and really feeling how worthy and, you know, knowing your self-worth, right? Recently, I had a conversation with a mentor of mine about Cinnabar. Cinnabar is, draws you in financially. Money, red, knowing who you are, feeling abundant, right? It's heartfelt. It's all of the things that I've manifested are my key elements as an alchemist. Moving forward, one, 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 brand new beginnings in love and in money. Paralyzed energy. So we're going to get into a general read. I don't know if it's going to turn out to love, but we're going to ask spirit to help us. Okay, spirit. I need some energy today in regards to the love that's coming towards my watchers. Okay, little soul echoes. Okay. We had a message. Either you or someone else looking at the tree of life, really taking some time within chameleon they're smart they're predictable but predictable in their own time is what they're revealing to me it's in reverse it's looking ahead but this person is in their head about the past right feeling your way through a new circumstance right they've initiated something with you you're a wish fulfillment but now they're stuck I have the four of cups, all these cups that were in front of me with somebody coming in and offering a brand new one. Maybe this is multiple job opportunities. Maybe this is just opportunities that are missed for you, right? Looking at them differently, perception. It's you seeing something one way and someone offering something to you that you're so focused on all the other cups that you don't see this one coming. Sometimes we sit in stagnant area. But there's an angel keeping an eye on your financial well-being, right? There's the fish at the top. Fish is abundance. It's having the knowledge you've done the work, putting some things on the back burner on this shelf, and really focusing on a new, brand new collaboration. Someone knows the business or knows how you feel about them. Someone is doing the work internally and shining in, right? That's that light, 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 bright, night, night, bright. Remember that? When you were little, you put the pieces in the puzzles to block the light. This is saying don't block your light, right? You have this brand new horizon, brand new opportunity. Someone's heartfelt. Someone knows it. Someone is watching and observing and is having the eyes, the ears, and the mouthpiece, which I always say to my guardian angels, Angel Michael, Gabrielle, Raphael, come in. Give me the eyes to see, the ears to hear the message, and the mouthpiece to be the conduit between me and you. Maybe your spiritual gifts aren't awakened but they are in tune. Trust your intuition on this one. Watch someone do the work. Collaborate together. Someone wise, right? A lot of angels, a lot of guidance, heritage I see, or legacy I see, England, Scotland, um, you know, another country. But these are being put up on the wall and the portal open. There's two candles in between this brand new opportunity. It comes in threes, but we have one, four, and three. It's a little bit of out of alignment. All right, Spirit, clarify the Page of Wands here. This is a general reading. Okay, there was a decision that needed to be made. Two of Swords, right? Bullseye is what I heard. Bullseye. Didn't see it coming. The crow is the messenger, right? Uh, either you're delivering something from your throat or you receive some information over the weekend in regards to maybe not seeing it the way you thought you would see it, but you are protected either way. The cloak right, is blue. So now we have somebody in their own space thinking about what to do. We have red, we have yellow, we have blue, and we have green. It's heartfelt. It's doing the work. It's knowing their value. Speaking up about it. Throwing a blind um, sword to the wall, right? Saying, I can't make up my mind. I can't make up my decision. I'm going to let spirit do, do it for me. Not seeing clearly. Making a poor judgment. 
The cup that's coming in about love, we have choices here. It's in reverse. Some, somebody was in their head about making a decision. Then they're heavy in their head about it, about choices, right? This is them not sure about taking your cup, right? About what you're bringing to the team that's going to build collaboration. Business moving forward successfully. There's somebody contemplating. There's three other people working towards it. Someone is still waiting on an answer. The cup is coming. It's a very large cup. You have it to offer, but contemplating the pieces to the puzzle is what I heard. And this woman choosing love, right? So you have to love what you do. I see cannabis here. I see fire energy. I see guidance through the book, whichever the book may be for you, whether it be Judaism, Catholic, uh, whatever your religion is, but choices, but always choosing love. She has a ring, highly intuitive. Once the castle has all the elements as an alchemist, missing, touching love, getting so close to it, but yet you don't want to pop the bubble because you don't know if you pop it, is it going to go away? Like poof. Or if you pop it, will it open up and your heart crack open? So someone's stuck, stuck, stuck. So fascinating. Sometimes as soon angels from up above, give me clarity about the collaboration, how we don't see how things behind the scenes are manifesting on our behalf. <laughs> Sometimes you have to take a step back because if you make a harsh decision and you can't see clearly, you are kind of screwed. Conjuring. Manifesting something new. Taking the time to work on it. Do the work. Your spirit angel is watching you. Watching you do your magic. Knowing your value and worth, right? Pouring in and making something work self-proprietor, communication in regards to money, communication in regards to love, a decision at a crossroads. Yep. Ace of Cups. Spirit is divinely guiding you to hold on, right? After you have some choices and after somebody makes a decision, right? Because it has to be um, here in serendipity. It has to be at the same time divination that you are manifesting as they are manifesting. Holding this huge cup that is overfilling with love. This one, I'm not kind of sure about the energy until they seek love, right? Is that what they want? For the love of God is what I heard, right? Is brewing something in a collaboration, right? Mind, body, and soul. And really, really in your head, after manifesting love, you're holding on to it. Seeking some higher up, someone who has more knowledge than you, speaking how you feel. And if you need to, look up the Siamese cat because it came up after the black cat. The black cat is a spiritual element. We have the two doves in the background. That stands for love, right? Divine partnership. Thank you, soon. Divine partnership. So we are headed into divine partnership. Holding that huge cup of love and them taking a chance. Who do they do? Who do they pick? Who do they love? There's a separation at the moment. Don't be alarmed because your angels are holding on to you. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Cupids, they got a lot of things going on. They're keeping an eye on this situation, right? They're making sure that decisions get made accordingly. The right decisions get made. I mean, remember, this is confirmation here. Sorry, my nose is running. It's running. Someone's emotional. There's water here. They're really, really either missing you, thinking about you, contemplating, not sure what to do. <laughs> but you have their heart. Or you broke their heart. See them? They're pledging their love to you. Lay there. Be still. I watch you. I think about you. I long for you. Your knight in shining armor. He's come to protect you, whether it be female or masculine. All right. Okay. Finances and career. And the honeymoon stage. It's being divinely orchestrated. Right? Someone putting you in a boat. Right? Boat is travel. Going somewhere romantic together. Maybe getting away honeymoon stage, really visiting how you feel about one another, really taking the time with the full moon to manifest forward something amazing, right? Going towards a big castle or a big house or the big plan or the whole thing, the whole kit and caboodle could be overbearing to some people. Some people want to make decisions in their life about love. And then when love faces them, boom, in the face, they don't know what the fuck to do with it. I'm being honest with you. 
engagement. It's going to lead to a higher understanding of a commitment here. Back off. Let them figure it out. You look at your cup. You know your worth. You know your value. You know your love. Them sitting by side. There's a book here. Maybe they're reading up on you. Maybe they're studying you. Maybe they're trying to figure you out. Maybe their love language is a little confusing to them. I'm getting scared energy. Afraid. Men aren't normally afraid, but they're skeptical when they set boundaries for themselves and they're not ready to move forward. But they know the perfect person is here. And sometimes that happens, right? Divine timing. All right, spirit. Ace of Cups here. What is she holding a lot of love for? What is the outcome here? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Green. Loving yourself. Smelling the roses. All right. Final. Oh, okay. That flew across the room. Soulmate. So if you're ever questioning if your soulmate is around you, yes, they are. Energetically, they're here. They feel it. They know you. It is your soulmate. So the person you're watching this over, they feel the same way you do. But it doesn't mean because you're ready, they're ready. And it doesn't mean because they don't reach out that they don't care. It's just they deal with it in different ways. So let's get an energy oracle card for the both of you. I was supposed to be on a podcast this morning, but I don't know what happened. Something happened to it. It's just to start at 11. I don't know what happened. We'll figure it out later. All right. I need a card for the watcher. And then one for their person spirit. Give me a card for the watcher. Come on, clarify the feelings on the watcher side. Did I? That one flipped over. It's too many spirit. All right, spirit. Give me one card in regards to the watcher. The person concerned about this love or soulmate. Give me one card that'll help them understand the commitment a little bit better. Come on, spirit. Stop being stubborn. Oh, look at that. Caring connection. One and four. Valentine's. So maybe this person needs to take a little bit of a break. They're doing the work. The sun is coming out behind you, right? They're coming towards you with love, right? There's something about them being behind you that absolutely makes them feel strong and powerful and secure in this relationship. They don't understand why, but this action of the two of you, of them standing behind you, is how they recognize your soul and differentiate you from all the other people, right? It's the sun has to hit both of you in the face, but if you're facing each other, you don't see it at the same time. It's them embracing you. Her smelling the flowers, smelling the roses. The beauty of it. Someone putting their arms around the other person, caring connection. That's for the watcher. How they feel about you, your soulmate, they absolutely care about you. But sometimes you have to take a step back so they can actually feel the connection. That's what it's talking about, connections. The connections are only secure if both of you are secure in this situation. Right? Look. Look on both these cards. It's so weird. It's out of alignment, then it's in alignment. But all of th these three cards, right, is a tight embrace. Holding on to one another. Not letting go, right? The white energy is high frequency. So this is being higher, higher ground. One is a new beginning and it's a stable new beginning. That's amazing. Love is so tricky. I mean, I read it, study it, love it. I'm here by the choice, which is the number six. Okay. Adjacent possibilities. Huh. And a man holding a coin at the bottom. So you are an opportunity. Could be the seven of, of um, cups, right? Choices. A woman holding a coin. So we have 42. Highly prosper. I mean, this person's prosperity is ungodly, like abundant. They know their value and worth. Something with jewels and gems and money. But your person is 24, right? Which is opposite of the 42. So maybe financially, there's some balance here, right? Maybe they don't feel qualified or good enough. It's in reverse. Adjacent possibilities. There are so many doors, but what is the right door, right? It's in reverse. There were so many doors, but now maybe a choice has been made, right? There's an attraction. There's somebody here um, thinking about the other person, but it's drawing me to this. The door and window behind you.
the door here, right? Choices have to be made. Things need to be moved around. There's one more, I thought, and this one. Coming through the door, showing up, choices, right? Things being moved around, opportunities happening. Let's read that from the book. I don't normally do that, but let's see. We have 14. Friendship, partnership, two, possible love, right? Upright, this card shows a couple in a tender embrace with the woman holding the bl blossoms of a new love. Like the community card, it reveals caring connections, but usually between two people only. This card upright signals the beginning or deepening of a heart, kindred, spirit, friendship, or even the appearance of new love in your life. It can also signify a formal business partnership. When this card appears, be on the lookout for new connections presenting themselves. The relationships you already share may become more intimate, purposeful, or present at the time. Notice the opportunities to be forged new or deeper bonds. There may be a tender karmic connection at hand. So there's some sort of connection growing up here. The affirmation when having this person in your life and loving yourself, I open my heart and life to truly caring connections. The ideal friend and partner is coming to me now. The ideal partner and friend is coming to me now. And I feel like this person is here. There's just a lot of what is, could have, should have, maybe doors opening. Maybe they're getting a lot of attention. Maybe they're newly single. But there's something about the gentleness of the way that the two of you touch each other. It's very intimate. Thank you, Asun. Confirmation. Clarification as well. The card reverse could indicate that you're feeling unsure or fearful about financial or health issues. It could also reveal the lack of value for yourself in your own life, right? So this person doesn't feel valuable enough for you. They don't feel as important or they don't think they can fulfill what you need. Pointing to someone else when this card comes in reverse, it shows a woman who may be reducing your own money or simply may not have your best interest in mind regarding your financial affairs. It could also be someone who devalues you or criticizes you or causes you to doubt your own value or causes you to doubt it. It could even be that the harmful energies of a woman from the past are still influencing you today. Be aware that you don't have to let anyone else's negative vibration influence you on any time. Release any toxic communications and know that you are free to define and value yourself no matter what. So do what you want to do. It seems here that someone has huge value on their own life, right? And keeps judging themselves without realize, realizing how powerful and how they can prosper financially, whether that's alone or in a group. That's stability and partnership. So we have new beginnings, partnership. That's a new love, friendship, or business endeavor. We have four again, right? Which four and two is six. You have a choice now. Love over money. Money over love. Love and money. Love and love, money and money, but there's some choices that need to be made and the balancing act. That's the temperance card. It's really holding yourself. Are you half full or half empty? How do you present yourself? Your angel is trying to show you that if there's balance, you can attain the soulmate and this brand new opportunity. Huge doors are opening is what I see. All those doors, not just one. Which one are you going to take? The one on the floor, the one on the ceiling, the one on the walls. Which one? They're all yours. All huge possibilities. We have 24 backwards and forward. We have 2-2. Two, two. I have 4-4. Four, four. I have 3-3. Three, three. Romance. Maybe someone just needed some time. The door to romance has been opened. Now what do you do? Do you hold the key to their heart? Or do they hold the key to your heart? That's the choice this guy's making back here. Is this the one? Is she the one? It feels great. Or he. Next card, balancing. Yin and the yang. When it's balanced, you have balanced energy, right? But you have adjacent possibilities, someone from their past they're comparing you to. It's a job from the past, someone's advice from the past. Divinity says indecision someone who doesn't know their value and worth very symbolic here red right eight and two is four but this is six which is a choice and this is romance this is romance we're making a choice here the unknown or the unknown which way do you go towards the tree of life is what i heard rest up 
and become your own magician, right? Manifest what you want. Be the alchemist. Let spirit work through you. Meditate. Meditate. New beginnings. Holding down the fort. Eight. On top of the magician, you manifested this person and they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do now that you're here. I always say, when you don't know, don't choose me. But sometimes it's best that they choose on their own and you not convince them what they need to do. So they choose wisely. Be the queen in your own story, one, four. So we started with four, one, two, four, four, two, four, one. Seventh angel, Archangel Uriel, 41. Okay, 41. Spirit connections, intuition, and inspiration. The beautiful angel Uriel, also called the fire of God. That is my Aries. That is my fire sign. It is knowing your value. Girl, I'm on fire. I don't know who sings that. I can't sing, but that's the song in my head. Wears a brilliant crystal crown vibrating with a passionate connection to the divine. She brings great power to your seventh energy center, which is called the crown chakra and is located at the top of your head. The card upright indicates an open and free flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. This could also be a great time of great intuition for you and guidance, thank you, assume, from your higher ups. So allow yourself to quiet your mind and be still and listen. Now is a great time to get connected. The assistance from spirit is great. And whether it's present of an ascended master, a powerful angel like Uriel, or just a loving friend or family member in the spirit, their love and willingness to assist you is always there. They even open you to the Ashtic records of Alaya Consciousness, the storehouse of all information. This connection is open now and you will find your own spirit and spirits of those around you. will also provide the answers you seek and the blessings you desire and deserve. My seventh chakra is open to its perfect, healthy state. Love and inspiration from spirit and my own intuition flow fully to me now. Come to me now. So we start with the knowing, which is the bottom, masculine energy, all the way up to the top, the crown, and finally knowing your worth and your value, and asking your El to come in and open up the Aztec records, which is your past, right? When we come into this life, we're told to forget. That's why we have those nostalgic aha moments so that our soul can recognize those people who have crossed our path on the journey. And in this case, you're beautiful. You've already received your wings, but you were here in this life to figure it out, right? You were here to figure out action, the doors to romance, what you need to do in order to do that, right? So we have 14, closing with 41. This is the feminine energy here, right? Could be man or woman. It's the one on here watching this, knowing there's a caring connection and understanding it, right? You know it's a past life romance. And then we have this person, adjacent possibilities, and you hold the coin and the answers to this. There's no key here, but there's a key to what door to go to, and it's up to them to figure it out. What a strange reading spirit, but I'm going to drop it and lop it here. Cupid's arrows, bows, and whatever. Next time Cupid pulls his arrow, make sure you're on the right spot to get the right arrow. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. General reading. Stay focused. Stay large. One, four, four, one, four, two, two, four. Very ironic here, right? Six and five. Uncertainty and choices. Make the best decision for you. Make sure you find the key to their heart. Make sure to find you, which is self-love. Check out my website. It's OutdoorHealing1111.com. Don't forget Valentine's Day. We have a lot of specials. I've discounted a lot of my um, jewelry there, rings, bracelets. Don't forget, self-love. Buy yourself a Valentine's gift. Valentine's Day isn't just on the 14th, right? It's every day. That's the card we started with. One four. Have a great day. Namaste. Outdoor Healing 1111. Talk to you soon. Cupid's getting ready to shoot an hour. Make sure you're at the right place at the right time. Namaste.